Well, it is officially the start of Torg Weekend. Hi, everybody. This is the secret sauce. Look, at he's like, he's doing shorts right now, and, and that's a hand. I'll go almost <laughs> all the way. Oh, both of the wives are uh, putting their heads down. They don't want to be on camera. They're hiding. I don't know why. One of them is extremely extroverted. That's not my wife. Oh, she is very not extroverted. But uh, yeah, we're gonna grab some food right now. Where are we at? This is the uh, beer, yeah. the beer barrel pizza and grill. The beer, the beer barrel Italian restaurant. Yes. Yeah, that it's too. Unfortunately named, but it's amazing food. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We're waiting on uh, our table and John Hancock and one of his buddies. So, yeah. all right. This is the official start to TorgCon. This is my first time, this is his second time. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. And let's see if I can get them. <laughs> nope, they hit. <laughs> we are officially here. My wife does not want to be on film, as usual. Um, but we are here at Torg. It's uh, time to go get some passes. Uh, and make sure the wife doesn't get uh, on camera. She's being uh, very sneaky about it. Uh, but yeah, time to uh, get our media passes and check this place out. It looks real big in there. Well, here is the con, everyone. Very empty right now because general public is not in here yet. Got a uh, free play area over there, right on. This space is massive. Dang, 225,000 square feet. Oh my God, they're gonna have bounce houses. They're not inflated yet. All the nice big tables. Oh, we're gonna go goodie hunting. We're gonna find all kinds of goodies. We got the uh, uh, the Mario voice actors over there. Kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Let's see. Yeah, we got uh, Charles. We got Samantha. We got Kenny and Laura. Very cool. And then over here, it's all the super famous people. Heck yes. So it is closer to general opening time. Uh, starting to get some more people in here. And uh, yeah, the. It, it's gonna be good. There are a ton of people at the door, and in talking with a couple of the staff, they're expecting probably about 10,000 people here today because they had thousands in pre-sale. So it should be a really good and really packed show. Most of the places are finally removing all the tablecloths from their booths. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go hunting for stuff now. Blackest booth that's here. It's awesome. And uh, got some uh, elder emo shirts because my wife and I are old now and we are the elders of the emo generation. Well, let's go back to some video games. Yeah, you goodies. Let's see what we got. those ones. So close. Now that is a highly customized game view. Look at that, the LEDs and everything. That is awesome. Such a cool like handmade bags and stuff here. These are awesome. I'm obsessed with that That is a really cool tote. Look at that classically trained. I don't know. These these are pretty awesome. Oh look at that. Mouse pads bunch of tumblers, a bunch of whatever those things are, catnip kickers. Oh, I don't drive the cat nuts. Okay. So here at uh, this booth, they got some cool stuff, including this right here. What is this, you ask? Uh, this is to uh, dump N64 ROMs uh, over onto zip disk. Not floppy disk, zip disk. And apparently you said it has like five games on it already? Five games are already ripped down onto it. That is awesome. And they said they're even going to work me a crazy deal that I can't believe, but no. <laughs> no, no, he's looking at me like, please go away. <laughs> oh my God, it's plushy heaven. There are so many plushies. And they're actually pretty good prices too. We had already gotten one plushie for one of the kids. We got to pick out uh, for a couple of the others though, so. Let's see what we can find. Dang, handheld 
Does anyone? We got just a couple of them here. Oh, you gotta love a table of random. I love a table of random. Morning. Morning. Ooh, Diddy Kong Racing Guide. Totally unauthorized. Love it. What are you talking about? Nintendo officially, I mean, they clearly signed off on that. They did sign off on it. They just thought it would be funny for Brady Games to say totally unauthorized. Yeah. Like I said, a bunch of parts if you need them for one. Uh, I am uh, very much debating making a bad decision. I mean, they got kiosks. It's about bad decisions. Bad decision. It's a great decision. It's a great decision until my wife gets back over here. Then it's a bad decision. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. Uh-huh. You're not married, are you? Exactly. Yeah. I have two of these that I already have enough, so what do you think? And it comes with a box of extra goodies and parts and stuff like that. It come with, but I'll cut you a deal. Oh, he'll cut me a deal, though. I mean, oh. But a kiosk to go with the completed Wii U set sounds pretty sweet. But unless you find another sucker like me, it's not going to sell, and then I just got to go to Cincinnati. Save you trip. Wii U games, and I spotted one I don't have. Hmm. That's a Genesis stuff. Very nice. Dang. Anybody need cards for anything? They have a couple of them. Holy crap, that's a lot of cards, man. Look at the size of this booth. This thing is huge, man. This takes up the size of like four booths. Now let's see if they have any in 64 that I don't have. Rock paintings on Sega City. Huh. All right. Well, I found one of the games that I was looking for. They have two copies. Let's see which one is better. Hmm. I don't know. They both look pretty similar. We're gonna have to uh, check the inside of these. Well, that place was cool. They had a ton of stuff and it is huge, man. They brought their like full on store to uh, Torg and that's crazy. I've never seen that. But they're also like the like platinum level sponsor, whatever, uh, of Torg. So makes sense why they have this entire huge space. It's a legit store in here and very fair prices. And I picked up one of the games that I was looking for. And nobody seems to have the other game that I'm looking for, Baldur's Gate on Game Boy Advance. So the hunt continues. And uh, we came across these old school guys here at uh, Old School Gamer Magazine. What's up, Ryan? We're into the old stuff. Back before HDMI. That HDMI stuff, we don't go for it. That Ch newfangled tech, yeah. Channel 3 and the yellow, white, and red cable stuff. Oh, yeah. That's where we're at. Definitely. But yeah, uh, Old School Gamer Magazine, we cover the 70s through the 90s. We're getting into the Xbox area and that kind of, you know, PS2 eventually. But back before, they had like 15 buttons on it. Yes. So. Well, unless you count like the, the 5200. And well, the, no one really <laughs> used the control. I think Sega Genesis had it right when they had three buttons. There you when go. When they had to add the extra three to do the combat type, you know, yep, the games, yep. that was too far. Too so, much. Too much. Well, Six buttons, we can't handle that. No. Well, we're, we're a six times a year magazine we're the only thing out there in the u.s similar to retro gamer if you see retro gamer in the uk or picked up at barnes and noble this is us oh, yeah old school gamer magazine awesome and i don't want to brag or anything but i mean i did have an article about me in the magazine at one point i don't remember when it was now but uh, i even got it, one it, of the it, trading cards it slipped your arm slipped your editorial process. Someone slipped it right in there. Did you throw some hundies at somebody to get in the mag? I definitely didn't pay for my interview. No. No infomercials. <laughs> Very cool. Spread the word for us when you can. Absolutely, man. Nice. Indie dev row here. Showing off uh, all their awesome work. Wow, some of these look really nice. That's awesome. Mighty mini golf. Few more things. God, we got a whole other section to still go look at. I'm tired. Well, I've been here for about three hours now, and I have barely seen like half or maybe a third. I'm tired. I am uh, gonna go relax for a bit, take over Jay's booth, uh, and uh, sit behind and uh, just relax while he has to work and be an official guest of the con. So, uh, yeah.
There's so much stuff. I haven't seen any of that yet, and I haven't seen the majority of that over there. So yeah, there is a lot here. This show is huge. All right, so uh, totally relaxing uh, at the uh, the creator booths right now. The wife is trying so hard to not get caught on film. Let's see, can I show part of the shirt? Let's see, we'll go, oh yeah, there, nope, nope. She turned the camera back. Uh, but I figured I would give a, a, a mid-con update with what I've found so far, so let's take a looky. So we got the gray cart variant of Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Uh, a super banger right here. Monster High, New Ghoul at School. What? Fast and Furious Showdown. Then we got the uh, Darksiders War Mastered Edition. So hard to find Darksiders 1 for this damn console. It's always a Darksiders 2. Steam World Collection. Very nice. And uh, picked up Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy on GameCube. So there's only one more that I was definitively looking for, which is uh, Baldur's Gate on the Game Boy Advance. And I haven't found it yet, but. I have hope. Well, uh, it is officially panel time, so we're gonna go check that out. I know Jay is on it, I know John Hancock's on it, but uh, let's go say hi to people inside of this uh, nondescript room, shall we? There we go. Found it for just a couple hundred dollars, um, and some of these items go for like tens of thousands of dollars, so I just really like to find the weird like kiosk, promotional items. And apologies for being late, but I found that there were sandwiches for guests, so I was hungry. Uh, my name is Jay, I'm from the YouTube channel Square Pegs. I used to work in the game industry uh, for about 10 years, uh, and now I just like to talk about games, and you people like to talk at me about games, so let's talk about games. I, I love collecting, but I kind of I kind of concluded my big pursuit of things, and so I do have long-term goals of my collection eventually being in a public space. Nothing's official. And the goal is to eventually get my collection out of my house. I love having my collection on public display. All right, so rested for a while, got some lunch, uh, went to some panels, and uh, now it's uh, time to hunt the rest of this place and see if we can find some more goodies, shall we? Got some uh, cosplay contest going on over there. Let's see if we can see it. And then, you know. A bunch more cosplayers right there. So just found even more Wii U games here. I've been finding a ton here. Uh, found three more that I didn't have. I'm officially down to the last five games for the Wii U set. So very close. They have one here that I don't have, but it's sealed. And the value of that is like $100 over the unsealed price. So I don't think I'm gonna be getting that because I will just break the seal. But we are very, very close to the full Wii U set. So we got a bunch of NES games here, not quite a complete set, but definitely several hundred, and it's even on the other side as well. Hmm, Lost Joystick, two retro guys talking about classic video games. All right then. And then the Gaming Power Exhibit. They have all kinds of cool goodies in here. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit for you. Commodore, ooh, Panasonic Q in box. Very nice, little Pico over there. Wow, that thing is shiny. Bunch of old computers, Pong consoles. Very cool. Look at all the little screens up top, that's awesome. Cool little gaming display. Poor family, we are the Rexa Retro Existential. And apparently they're about to do a huge reveal in five minutes. But look at all these awesome cases. I've got a couple of these, but nowhere near what they have here. Apparently the Intellivision one is extremely rare. Oh, that's cool, the Jaguar one right there. NES. Look at all of these, what in the hell is this thing? The future is at hand. Power of five, okay? Something with uh, Hitman 2, apparently. Nice. Oh, look at all the kiosks. There we go. It's the Famicom version of the box. Very nice. That's awesome. Retro Museum. Look at the Reality Vest 64. I don't have that weird controller. That's awesome. Oh, a CDI dev kit. Holy cow, that's really cool. I have never seen a CDI dev kit before. Very nice. Vintage video game out of soda cans. Awesome. Pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dazzle. What you see here is a 
cartridge that is combined to this piece of hardware that is the game development hardware. So this is how you would develop cartridges or games for the Sega Saturn, which was CD-based. This would have a console on top of it that was also a prototype Sega Saturn console, and you would hook this up to a computer, put it together, and debug your games. So apparently for the uh, first time in a long time in history, that was the uh, SNASM 2, known as the Sega Saturn Development Kit. I had never heard of a SNASM before. It uh, wasn't pretty looking, but it was cool, and he had a manual for it. So now I've seen the Pluto, uh, and I've seen the SNASM. That's uh, pretty snazzy. Mm -hmm. Well, it is officially day two of Torg, and uh, we got a lot of stuff yesterday. I uh, got a ton of new Wii U stuff and picked up a Sphinx Curse of the Mummy on GameCube, so that was cool. Still looking for Baldur's Gate on Game Boy Advance, but uh, yeah, we're gonna make the rounds again, see what we can find. Maybe we can make some deals now that it's the last day of the con, so that would be exciting. But I'm gonna keep an eye out because I only have five more games to complete the Wii U set. So we'll see if we can find any of those remaining five today because that would be very exciting. And then I also have to convince the wife to let me buy a kiosk. Oh my gosh, what's up? Woo, I got kisses. All right, so let's look around more. Let's see, what do we got in here? goodies with copyrighted music. That's always fun. Fridge magnet. Cross stitching. Awesome. What's that? What's in the box? Nothing I'm looking for. Fantastic. Still on the hunt for that Baldur's Gate, but uh, I did pick up SSX Tricky on GameCube, so that's exciting, but uh, still looking for that daggum Baldur's Gate, and I am not finding it. Well, that is gonna wrap it up for Torg 2023. Did you have fun? Oh yes, this is a good Woo! There's Meredith right there, let's see. Oh, she decided to be on camera. That means my wife definitely still doesn't want to be on camera. She's hiding. Yeah, she's hiding. But uh, this was awesome. I had fun. Did you have fun? I had a great time. It was yeah. a great show. He's still going to be here for a few hours. Yeah, so. a couple more hours. A couple more hours. Yeah. But I have the same long drive home he does, except, you know, I get to leave now. Yeah, but I have a hotel room tonight. Whatever. I have my own bed tonight. Hey, it's Retro Rob. Woo! Well, there he is. <laughs> But yes, Torg has been awesome. I've had a lot of fun. I got a crap ton of stuff for uh, the Wii U collection. Yes, I got one more game that I didn't have this first two. Stop tickling me. Uh, and uh, now I'm down to four games. Keep tickling me. <laughs> <laughs> down to four games left. Uh, and my wife still will not let me get the Wii U kiosk that they have. Jay's in agreement and says my wife is wrong. He also I said other, he said other very foul things, but. <laughs> Would you stop trying to get me in trouble with her? No, because you won't help me get it. <laughs> but anyways, Torg was awesome. Uh, had a good time. And uh, bye. Fish work.